Hey friends, it's me again, Miss Wolf, your garden teacher. I have another book that I want to share with you, and this is one that's all about a community garden, just like the one growing at your school. And I love how it shares all of the things that live and grow and change throughout the year in a garden. So as I begin, like last time, find a comfy spot wherever you are, take a deep breath in, and out. Put your listening ears on and I hope you enjoy our next book, In a Garden. Written by Tim McKenna, illustrated by Amy Sakuro. In a garden on a hill, sparrows chirp and crickets trill. In the earth, a single seed sits beside a millipede. Worms and termites dig and toil, moving through the garden soil. Then at last a tiny shoot ever slowly forms a root. First a seedling, then a sprout, pushing, bursting up and out. In a garden day by day, newborn flowers find their way. Sunlight warms the morning air, dewdrops shimmer here and there. Earwigs scuttle, beetles scurry, roly polies scoot and worry. Sleepy slugs and garden snails leave behind their silver trails. Frantic teams of busy ants scramble up the stem of plants. In a garden, week by week, little creatures hunt and squeak. All the while a sprout is growing without anybody knowing. Buds emerge and leaves unfold, braving wind and heat and cold. Stretching, spreading, open wide, just the perfect place to hide. Underneath, it's safe and snug for a lonely ladybug. In a garden, showers fall, dainty drinks for one and all. Flower petals bold and bright blossom in the beaming light. Blooms of every shape and size call to bees and butterflies. Daisy, foxglove, tulip, plum, daffodil, chrysanthemum. Sips of nectar, warm and sweet, pollen clings to heads and feet. Round and round they buzz and flit, only pause to rest a bit. In a garden, bugs aglow, flashing, flying to and fro. Lace wings, gnats, mosquitoes, spiders, dragonflies, and water striders live among the cattail reeds, lily pads, and water weeds, keeping hid from hungry eyes using colors to disguise. Crafty bugs with clever tricks look like leaves or bark or sticks. In a garden full of green, many moments go unseen.
finding shelter in the shade, careful, careful rows of eggs are laid as a cool and gentle breeze whispers through the tops of trees. Then a seed slips to the ground, sinking in without a sound. Time goes by and by and then, life returns to start again. Always changing, never still, in a garden on a hill. The end. After reading this book, I'm so excited to start exploring our garden and observing all the things that live and grow there. But I'm curious, what kind of things do you hope to see and find in our garden? What kind of things would you like to see growing there? What kind of things do you hope to find maybe in the soil or up above in the sky? What kind of things would you like to do in our garden? So I invite you to dream about the things that you hope to see or do in our school garden. Well friends, that's all I have for you this time, but I hope to see you again soon. And until then, I hope you have a great day and have fun exploring the world around you. Bye friends.